on the way down screaming Whoa! to Budapest as we prepare for the start of the Hungarian Grand Prix. The teams are just getting their cars ready to go out for today's practice session. So we'll be straight to the action shortly. Well, we're starting to get to the business end of the season now as we're just past the halfway stage. We now know which teams have the best performance and which teams are playing catch up. It's been a great season so far for Nico Rosberg, who is our current championship leader. Nicky Lauda was talking up his title hopes this week and I certainly wouldn't bet against him landing his first ever Drivers World Championship this year. One of the big talking points in the paddock ahead of today's race is the rumours that McLaren are talking to Valtteri Bottas about a race seat for next season. Can you see that happening? Would the Finn want to leave Williams to go and race with the Woking team? In F1 you never know, but Valtteri is definitely one of the rising stars in the sport. Of course his manager will be looking for a drive that gives him the best shot at winning his first world title, but with current form, who's to say McLaren can offer him that chance ahead of Williams? What is going on guys, my name is George Oliver Wolfie and welcome back to another F1 2015 career mode episode. This is round 10 I believe in Hungary, Magyar Nagyadic as uh, the commentators sometimes call it. and. Being nice, I'm looking forward to this weekend. We had a great race last time out in Britain. Didn't win, but we managed to claw back a result from last time. If you haven't seen that one, make sure you go and check it out. There'll be a link in the description, so go and check it out now before it gets spoiled. But as you can see here, anyway, we are going through the setup that I use in Hungary, and we're just going to go out on track in practice, see what we can do, and hopefully be able to get a nice result in this round. So we'll just have to see what we end up doing, but I, I'm not sure. We don't tend to have good pace around this track, but we'll have to see. We'll just have to wait and see what we can do. But we're going to head out on the track right now and see exactly what we're going to do. And lots of cars are actually heading out, so we might leave it a minute, but we'll see. Okay, out on track and... Oh my god! Um, That's a perfect start to practice. This is literally my outlap. And that's happened already. Let's look on the replay cameras and we just hit the sausage curb. Literally, like a sausage curb has just completely annihilated us. We hit it too hard, we spin and just tag the wall. So luckily no damage, but then we cross the line and we set a lap that puts us P3. And then we just kept on doing a few more laps. You can see at the end of the next lap, we completely lose the rear end going through the corner there and then lose it again coming back on track. And that just completely destroys our front wing. So, really good start there to practice. I'm really happy with the progress that we've made. And, yeah, let's hope that continues. But now we cut to the end of practice anyway. Nothing much happened. We're just setting laps. As you can see, this is our 13th lap of the session. And we weren't really massively on the pace. As you can see, P5, but we crossed the line. And that's where we stay at the end of the session, guys. So, not the best of sessions there. Nico Rosberg has proven in today's practice session that he's the one to watch for qualifying tomorrow as he sets the fastest time of today. So as you can see there guys, at the end of the session we get P5 just behind our teammate Bottas who gets P4. I'm seeing miles off the pace. Rosberg set an absolute wonder lap, 8 tenths quicker than his teammate. But even Vettel was 6 tenths off Hamilton. So Mercedes completely dominating here, but hopefully in qualifying we can improve a little bit. We hope you're looking forward to today's qualifying in Hungary as much as we are. We think it's going to be a cracker. I've got a feeling that Lewis Hamilton might dominate this weekend, especially considering his incredible track record round here. He really loves this track, doesn't he? He's a four-time winner here, so if he can get on the front row of the grid, I think he has a wonderful chance to make it five. All right then, guys, here we are in the garage for qualifying, and we are literally just going to go out and set probably go out fairly soon actually and set a lap then come back in and put on a new set of options and go out for literally like one maybe two laps at the end of the session just so we have a newer set of options uh, for the race and hopefully that'll work out quite nicely for us in the race where we'll start on some fresher options and then we'll be able to do like a prime stint later on in the world people we'll have to see but as you can see we're out on track now and we cross the line and we go p1 with that lap time so a really good lap time by us there and then the next lap we go out on the back straight and we've dropped down to p4 but we go quicker again four tenths 
faster than uh, Sebastian Vettel was in second. But now, come to the end of the section, and we're just coming through the second sector. Now, going into the third, we set the quickest second sector. So we go purple in that sector. Vettel is still P2, Rosberg P3, Vikingham P4. So Hamilton and Bottas nowhere to be seen in the top four. But now, coming through the penultimate corner, now going up the small straight to the final corner, shift down to third gear, try and kick stick right up to the inside line, get us on the power as quick as he can through the final corner, get on the DRS, and we cross the line and we don't improve. So we stay there in P1, but a pretty sweet lap time from us there. So nice and quick, pole position for the Grand Prix. And yeah, not a bad session in all there. I'm pretty happy with that. It's Felipe Massa who takes the honours today with an absolute stunning pole lap. He was just untouchable and the other drivers will be wondering what they have to do tomorrow to beat the Brazilian driver. When a driver puts together a lap like that, you have to say their confidence is going to be very high going into the race tomorrow. So then guys, there we have it, P1 in qualifying, just one, uh, one tenth faster than Sebastian Vell and two tenths faster than Rosberg. Pretty good session for us there, we're going to go into the race straight away and hopefully we'll be able to have a nice easy cruise to victory by Daltix. We weren't that far, uh, uh, we weren't that much quicker than everyone else, so we're going to have to push hard here. Welcome to the twisting it's race the time! A popular it's the Magyar Nagyadich Grand Prix! Magyar Nagyadich! It's time for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Sitting proudly in P1 for the start of today's race is the ever likeable Felipe Massa. He's incredibly proud of his starting position, but he's experienced enough to know he's got to take advantage and see it home in the race. He's definitely going to be difficult to beat today, but anything can happen. So we'll have to keep a close eye on how this unfolds over the course of the race. It was a disappointing day for Fernando Alonso yesterday. He's starting further down the grid than he would have liked, but he'll still be hoping for a strong result today. Well, Fernando is a great starter and he'll be looking to make up a few places on that first lap to try and get himself back into a position that he's more familiar with. So then, on the grid for the Hungarian Grand Prix, obviously we are starting from pole position. I do believe Raikkonen might have had a penalty. I didn't see it on the driver thing, but I think he qualified fourth. So if he's not there now, then he'll have had his penalty. But I think he served that in practice, so I'm not sure. But anyway, we are on the grid for this Grand Prix. Hopefully we're going to have a nice, easy race in this one. Pretty interesting order. Vettel managing to get Ferrari on the front row with us. But if we look at the strategy, we are pitting between... Lap over 4 billion, 294 million and something or other between that lap and the next lap. So, yeah, these tyres are going to last a long time by the looks of it. Then we'll pit between lap 7 and 8 because that is just mathematics. And then between laps 16 and 17. So not only are we pitting 4 billion laps into the race, but we're actually doing no prime stints. So... This isn't going to actually work whatsoever. We're just going to have to improvise this strategy. And that's not really what I want to do because I want to know how long the tyres are going to last. But anyway, on the grid, we're going to shift straight up to Rich Mix. The engine is going to completely ignore us, but lights out and away we go for the Hungarian Grand Prix. A pretty sweet style of the line from us there. No one seems to be able to catch straight up to us. Whereas we've got a good run down to the first corner. Is anyone going to try and dive bomb us? No, they're not. We shift to the inside, get a pretty good run off the first corner there as Rosberg and Vettel keep on switching places. But now we run down to the next corner here. This is turn two, long sweeping left-hander here, which then uh, switches down to a quick right-hander and then a nice little straight here. There used to be a DRS zone here, which I always used to find really helpful on previous games. So you don't mind to have that now. This is where we completely lose the rear end there. So that's allowed Rosberg to completely close the gap up to us there which we have managed to open a small one but now coming into the sausage curbs here and we do a hungarian bunny help lads we're, we're just going to do so many of those during this race but now through the sweeping section there reminds me a bit of a slower maggots and bear kits from silverstone but now coming into hang on a minute i thought i'd noticed the car was weaving around a bit but these tires are actually dead look at them Okay, so we're not pitting between lap 4 billion. We're going to pit on lap 1, I think. So, that's absolutely shocking. I've just got hope now. This could be our race over if no one comes into the pits behind us. So, I've got hope. People pass us in. It looks like Rosberg is, at least, which is the main thing. 
our championship my boys go follow us uh, follow us into the pits uh, it looks like from the minimap most people are coming in there are a few that have stayed out let's see who it is with Stappen, Maldonado and Grosjean signs so a fair amount of people have followed us into the pits which is good all of the championship rivals has oh no okay so we were boxed in there so Raikkonen's been an absolute prit stick and has boxed us in the pits which has allowed Vettel to jump us but I think Rosberg's been held up because Ricardo's now behind us so it looks like Rosberg has been completely held up and we just lost a position to Vettel so we're going to have to try and uh, get that back over the next few laps but not a bad start I mean if you count losing 11 places as bad I mean it's kind of bad but we've we're pitting, we're on fresh tyres, so now it's just a case of trying to catch up. We're going to do a little sit rep here now on lap three, I think it was. And as you can see, Verstappen leads, then the two Lotuses, Sainz, Alonso, Ericsson, Button. Well, Stevens is in ninth place, I'm in 11th with Vettel there in 10th. Rosberg is down in 19th. He has already stopped twice, as has Roberto May, so maybe there's a crash between them two. I don't really know, but anyway, on lap three, we have Ricardo behind us, who now cuts the end of lap lap. Vettel sets the fastest lap. We're really not managing to catch him at the moment. He's starting to pull away. We're losing five tenths a lap to him, apparently. So I think it's going to be more running our own race. He's now Raikkonen set to move fast as well. These Ferraris are really on the pace at the moment. So that's not that good to see. But now we cut to lap five. And a few people in the pits here. That's Grosjean pulling into the pit lane. But Vettel, we've closed slightly on him. But still, he just we just don't seem to be able to keep up with him. So now on lap 5, even more people in the pit lane. This looks like Felipe Nasa. So that's us into P9 now. We're starting to get a few more points, which would close the gap to Rosberg. Raikkonen's now moved up to P10 behind us. Meanwhile, we're catching up to Vettel slowly. His tyres seem to be going off the cliff now. And we've managed to catch up. So the gap is now about 1.5 seconds. Verstappen now goes on to lap 7. He is still in the lead with Grand Prix. And then looks like there are going to be more drivers coming into the pits at the end of this lap. So we'll have to see who that is. Vettel's going to go past them first. That's Carlos Sainz into the pit lane there. And that's P8 for us now. And yeah, 1.9 seconds to Vettel. So he seems good in the last sector. But we're very good in the first and second. As you can see, the following lap, we've put right up to the back of him here. Will Stevens there is in P6 as Vettel pulls into the pit lane. You know what? We're going to dive in with him. We're going to change our strategy here. We're going to try and overtake him into the pit lane as well, but we're not going to make it there. We're going to slot him behind him. We just changed our strategy a bit. I've seen Vettel's decide to pull in, and as the guys in front decided to stay out, it just slow us down if we try to uh, pass them. So it's a bit of a better strategy to come in now. And we've actually jumped Sebastian Vettel in the pits area as well. So that's an absolute perfect stop by our guys. 2.4 seconds. Perfect pit stop there. And that's got us out now in P12, but ahead of Vettel, crucially. So we're in, I wouldn't say effective P1 because we've pitted more than the guys in front of us, but we're in a very good position here for the rest of the race, which is good to see. So now we cut later onto lap 8. We've caught to the back of Jensen Button in the McLaren, and Carlos Sainz is just ahead of him. These uh, Carl Science is in P10, so that would be for one point, but Science pulls into the pits. We're going to dive up Button's inside, get two places in one corner there, and absolutely annihilate Button through the final corner onto lap eight. A few more people in the pits. That looks like it's Lewis Hamilton. We're up into P7 anyway. I don't know who it was that we passed. I think it was Hamilton, and now Alonso is ahead of us in P6. So uh, now it's mission catch for Alonso, and we cut later. So lap 9, we're going to do a sit rep again here, just so you guys can keep up to date where everyone else is. Verstappen still leads, Ericsson is P2, Raikkonen P3, Kvyat P5, Alonso P6, I'm P7, Will Stevens is still in P9, Hamilton P10, Bottas P11. Uh, Nico Rosberg has managed to climb up to P14, uh, he's done three stops, he's now the prime size, so he'll be going for the long haul here, as will Daniel Ricciardo. So, a bit of an interesting situation here, as we now come on to lap uh, 10, we're losing the rear end there like an absolute Twitch McGee, but we set the fastest lap anyway, so it's good that we have a bit of pace on these tyres, which is exactly what we want as we jump Ericsson there as he comes out of the pit lane, so yeah, we seem to have a bit of pace here, we're uh, lap 11 now, and we're going to dive bomb Fernando Alonso into the first car, but we miss the braking zone completely, and overshoot, and that allow allows Alonso back through into P4, but we're up in P5 anyway, so 
we're scoring some good points here. This will make, uh, allow us to get higher, uh, sorry, uh, overtake Rosberg in the standings. But now we cut late on the lap and we're going to go for a dive up the inside here into the sausage curb section. The chicane, and now you see in front of us we've got a little queue. Here we have Daniel Kvyat, who we're going to go round the outside of like an absolute madman, which is nice to see. And then up the inside of uh, Mary as well. So just absolutely jumping around here. We're now up into P3. Mary was actually a bat marker. We look at the replay cameras here. Around the outside of Kubia. What a move that was. We probably gained an advantage by going off the circuit. But then we get past Mary. It looks like Mary actually held up Kubia. We round up with him here. We'll see a, a wild Felipe Massa darting around his outside there. But then Roberto Mary seems... Yes, he has. Roberto Mary has held up Daniel Kvyat there, and he might have got a penalty for that. But anyway, we are now in P3 here on lap 11, and now we cut later now onto lap 12. We're right up behind second place Maldonado here, and losing the rear end a little bit, where we get better traction there out the corner on Maldonado, and up into the final corner, we get P2. So pretty good here. Frostburg nowhere to be seen, which is absolutely perfect, and now it's only the stepping in front of us. And we cut to the next lap, and we're going to pull into the pits here behind the back marker of Sergio Perez. And, yeah, it's been a bit of a weird stint, that one. Nothing much happens in the laps after that. We'll try and catch the stuff, but it's just too quick for us. So, into the pits, third time now on lap 15, coming on to lap 16. We're going to put on the option tyres, I think. Yep. So, the yellow sidewall options. We've been held up there in the pits. An absolute treat by... Uh, Daniel Kvyat there but well, now down into P3 and we keep on holding this podium position which is what we want to have now but yes uh, the scrub tyres what scrub tyres they shouldn't be scrub tyres anyway so it might be oh it'll be the ones we used earlier in qualifying actually so that's alright if we just look now we cut later on to lap 16 here and we've got to the back of an absolute train so we go up to Perez is inside he's a back marker as is Roman Grosjean here, we're going to go up his outside into the sausage curbs here. And now Roberto Merry, yet another back marker. So we'll go around his outside, that's Roberto Merry done. And now this is actually Max Verstappen, who now pulls into the pit lane in the lap after us. And we are now up into P2. Daniel Kvyat leads the Grand Prix at the moment. How far ahead of us is he? Absolute miles there, that's the answer. Now we cut to lap 18, nothing much happened in those two laps. We're pretty much in a in no man's land at the moment. No one's right behind us. A scary. I don't know. Oh my god, that was that Max Verstappen? I think we've just gone past a crashed out Max Verstappen there. We're down to 19 runners. Web Bell's him retiring as well. But now at the end of lap 18, we're going to come back into the pit lane here. Kvyat's just running away with this at the moment. Maldonado's in P3, but you can see on the minimap, we have got a massive gap between us, the yellow dot, and then the next grey dot who's coming into. Uh, just coming towards the final, uh, sorry, the penultimate corner now. So we've got a massive gap. We should emerge back in P2 quite comfortably here. And yeah, it's a pretty weird race at the moment. Kvyat's running away with the lead at the moment. And Maldonado doesn't seem able to catch us. So it's just a case of preserving this P2, making sure we don't make a stupid mistake, something like that. And making sure that we just hang on to this position. So we look at the fuel. We're doing pretty good here with fuel. We're in rich mix at the moment. We're just doing that. And yeah, pretty standard at the moment. And hang on a minute. Is it just me? Wait a minute. What is going on with these tyres? What? I, hang on. I need to think here. What's going on with these tyres? What's actually going on with these tyres? I have no grip whatsoever. I'm, I'm going to have to pit again. Oh my god, this has actually ruined our race, guys. We're going to actually have to pit once more. I think we looked at uh, the fuel thing, if I remember right. When we looked at the damage, they were bright red. So, yeah, not brilliant. We're now down to P3 as Ricardo's got past us. We've had the worst lap ever there on the scrub tyres. And we go pit with some primes now. Martinado comes into the pit just ahead of us there. And, oh no. Look who's P3, lads. Nico Rosberg, our championship rival, comes into the pits in P3. Uh, not into the pits, stays out. And he's now P3. We're in a Mercedes sandwich with Hamilton just behind us. But now, 15 laps of the race left. And we... Hello, Roberto Berry. Nice to see you, pal. We've passed you 
be nice. We're having a better race with Roberto Meri, a bat marker, than we are with anyone else at the moment. So, but now lap 22, and we'll look at what's happening with Rossi. He's trying to get past the bat marker and Nico Hulkenberg here, and they've tagged wheels. Hulkenberg, the bat marker, has tagged wheels with Nico Rosberg. Now we cut late into that lap, cutting through the fast left hander, and they've both gone off wide. Hulkenberg and Rosberg have tapped wheels, and that's allowed us to go back up into position three now, as Rosberg has just gone off track. If you look at the replay cameras here. They just tag wheels slightly and run off wide, and you see we just go past. I'm lucky to avoid a Rosberg actually there, but we managed to get past him, and we're up into P3, lads, over the Hungarian bunny hop curves there on lap 22, and well, we've just gained a position for three there. So if we look now, we'll do a informed pit window. And the window is currently open. We're going to go out on prize now. Honestly, we have nine laps left of the race. If I hang out for one more lap, I reckon the options could make it. So we're going to set option tyres. And there we go. Option tyres to the next stop. I reckon if we could stay out until lap 27, which is the next lap. So you've not got many people behind us as we go up to p as Ricardo pits. But if we could just hang out for and um, pit this lap. We should manage to get the options to work. So into the pits here we come. And yeah, into the pits we must go. E I E I E I O. And we're in on go the yellow sidewall tires out. And we go be P3 here. We've got a nice little gap by the looks of it to Hamilton. Or is that him right there? No, that's him right there. So actually we're gonna drop down to P4, maybe P5 as well. No, that was Nico Hulkenberg. So we come out in P4 here. And lap 28, pretty good position to be in if we can make these options last and there is no grip on these whatsoever we're heavily degraded oh my god i forgot the last set of options were maybe new and they were degraded and we've put on the exact same set oh man so hello guys put the kettle on lads i feel like we might be visiting you again so six laps now on these prime tires and this was the biggest cock up of a race we've ever done I am an absolute spaz, and now we come out in P6 here, and yeah, wow, we've actually cocked up our race completely there, as that's Alonso right behind us as well, so yeah, P6, so uh, we are going to be in Rosberg in this race, guys, and now we cut later in the race, Daniel Kvyat wins his first ever Grand Prix, nothing happened in those six laps, we managed to pull away from Alonso, then got overtaken by Ericsson. But we couldn't catch up to uh, Sebastian Vettel. You can see on the mini map, no one is near us. So we're going to stick on board for the last bit of this lap as we do a final bunny hop there over the sausage curves. But yeah, Daniel Kibiat wins the race. And pretty crap race for us there. You can see no one's really around us. And yeah, not what we were hoping. We just completely cocked up in terms of tyres. We could have got P2, P3. Maybe even P1 if we we're lucky if we'd just gone out on primes instead each stin. But no, we decided to try and be clever and go out on options. And it just didn't work because we'd used up all our sets of options. And I completely forgot about that. But now, rounding the final corner. And we're going to take P6 here. And what a bad race that was for us. Absolutely shocker there. We lose points to Rosberg in the standings, which is not what we want whatsoever. And yeah, not a good race whatsoever for us there, guys. So, uh, yeah, not good whatsoever. Really disappointed by that one. Today's Grand Prix winner is Daniel Kvyat. What an exceptional drive from this young Russian. It's been a great day's racing, and it's fair to say that they deserve that win. Their strategy was spot on. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. So there you have it guys, a bit of a disappointing end to that Grand Prix if I'm being really honest with you. Seven pit stops for ourselves and Sebastian Vettel in that and we still managed to get P5 and 6. So I'll take that as a positive but big negative, obviously Rosberg getting P4, our championship rival gaining four points on us to extend his lead at the top. Daniel Kvyat and Daniel Ricciardo had an absolutely perfect weekend with Red Bull sealing the 1-2 and our teammate Valtteri Bottas down in P11 really 
really shocker there, actually, yeah, in terms of him. No other real surprises. Maybe counting the Manners in 14th and 15th as a fairly big surprise, but they were the only others still to be on lap, uh, one lap behind, and the rest were more than that. So, bit of a weird race, that, guys. I'll leave you now with the highlights, and I'll see you guys in the next episode for the Belgian Grand Prix. Remember to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go And we'll